I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will understand how to factor polynomials. To start with let us understand first how to find the greatest common factor. So we have two examples here. A is we have three numbers which are 18, 24 and 42. Let's figure out how to find the greatest common factor. And then we have three terms here. These are algebraic terms. They have variables. 8x, 12x squared minus 20x cubed. And then we'll see how to find greatest common factor amongst these three terms. So let's begin with the numbers first. Now as a reminder, to find the greatest common factor, let's factorize each one of them and write all possible prime factors. That will help us to find the greatest common factor. So it's kind of a review for most of you. So starting with 18, we can prime factorize 18. 18 could be written as 6 times 3 and then 6 could be written as 2 times 3. So the factors for 18 are 2 times 3 times 3. So these are the three factors for 18. Let's write down the factors for 24. 24 could be written as 6 times 4. So 6 and 4 are factors of 24. When you multiply 6 and 4, you do get 24. 6 could be 2 times 3. And 4 is 2 times 2. Now let's do 42. 42 is 6 times 7, right? 42. 42 could be written as 6 times 7. And 6 prime factors for 6 are 2 and 3. That gives us prime factors for each one of them. So let's write down these factors. For 18, we have 2 times 3 times 3. For 24, we have 2 times, so let me write all the 2's first, times 2 times 2 times 3. And then for 42, we have 2 times 3 times 7. 3 times 7. Now as far as common factors are concerned, so the common factors are, well, 2 is common in all of them, so 2 is a common factor. And then we also see that 3 is a common factor, right? So 3 is common, so 2, 3 are common factors. So we can say, well, the common factors are then we have 3 as a common factor and since 2 and 3 are common factors 2 times 3 which is 6 will also be a common factor right 6 times 7 is 42 6 times 4 is 24 and 6 times 3 is 18 so the result is that the greatest common factor that's right greatest common factor in this case is indeed 6 right so that is one of the ways of finding the greatest common factor. Now, let's do the three terms given on the right, which is part B, 8x, 12x squared minus 20x cubed. So let's write down the factors for 8x. When we do prime factorization of 8, we get 2 times 2 times 2, right? So we can, we can do the same process. We'll take x terms separately. So 2 times 4 is 8 and then 2 times 2 is 4. So we can write prime factors of 8 as 2 times 2 times 2. Similarly, we can do prime factors for 12. For 12, we have 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 could be written as 2 times 2. So for 12, prime factorization will give you 2 times 2 times 3. Now minus 20, so minus is one of the factors. So let's now figure out for 20. For 20, the factors are 20 is 4 times 5 and 4 could be written as 2 times 2, right? So for 20, the factors are 2 times 2 times 5. Now from this, 
factors, we can find that the common factors are 2, right? Then we have another set of 2. So from here we can say that the greatest common factor as far as the numbers is concerned is indeed 2 times 2 which is 4. Now how about the variable part? Well, in the variable part you have 8x, right? So 8x, so let me write down the variable part separately. Now let me add them, in fact, right? So 8 times x it is, so it is x, right? 8x, so it is 8x, one factor of x. For 12, we have x square, that means x times x. And for minus 20x cube, we have a factor of x, which is minus, is a factor. Then we have 3x, x cube, right? So these are the factors for x cube, right? So when we are talking about polynomials, we are also talking about the variables involved. So we have to see amongst the variables, what is the common factor? So well, here we see that x is a common factor. And therefore, we combine both the things and say, well, the greatest common factor is 4x, right? So that is the greatest common factor for 8x, 12x square and minus 20x cubed. When we say that 4x is the greatest common factor, that means we could write each term as a product of 4x times something else, right? So 8x, for example, can be written as 4x times 2, right? That is 8x. And 12x squared can be written as 4x times 3x. So that becomes product of 4x and 3x is 12x squared. And for minus 20x cubed, we could write minus 4x is our greatest common factor times 5x squared. When you multiply these three terms, minus 4x and 5x squared, you do get minus 20x cubed. So the factors for minus 20x cubed could be written as the one shown here, right? Now, We'll now switch over to factorization of polynomials and if we had a term like addition subtraction of these terms in between, we could take 4x as a common factor and factorize, which you will see in the next video. I hope you understand the concept of finding the greatest common factor. That is the first thing to do when we factorize polynomials. Thank you.